The Lost Words was a book of poems written by Robert McFarlane. And the idea is to reconnect children with the natural world. So the fear is that words linked to the natural world are getting lost from the language of children. And the idea is if we don't know the words, then how do we care about the things that we see? So words like acorn, conquer, bluebell, kingfisher, um, all words that are disappearing from the language of children. So using this book as a base, what we wanted to do is we wanted to engage local children in enthusiasm about nature. In about a couple of years ago, there was a sort of media campaign that mentioned that the Oxford Junior Dictionary had replaced some of the words that were linked to the natural world. So a word like conquer was replaced with chat room, a word like... Um, Bluebell was replaced with blog. So the whole idea is that some people are arguing that technology has become more important to younger people than actually the natural world. What we did is we invited local children to take part in poetry sessions with some uh, local poets, including Karen Hillgreen, Katie Greenbrown, and uh, Miss Tykal, otherwise known as Catherine Hunter. Um, and the idea is the children could come into sessions um, with the poets. They did a sort of a nature walk, discussed words, had a hands-on sort of session, and then they were inspired by something that they love about the park, the natural world in the park, to write their own poems. So the children went away, wrote their poems, got advice, feedback from their uh, poets, and then they've written up their poems, which are here on display at uh, Roundtree Park Reading Cafe, which is run by York Explore. Some of them have also opted to make sort of videos as well, which were shared on social media where they read out their poems. So each of these poems is individual and it's their own and it's about something they're passionate about, about the natural world and something out there in our local park.